how do you determine what battles are worth fighting creatively? Ooh, that's a tough one. It, it just, a lot of it comes down to what's at stake. Um, I had a joke that, I think this was BET, I did, I did this comedy show on BET probably 10, 15 years ago, and I had a debate with my manager, and I'll never forget it, about what my closing joke should have been. And my manager at the time was this Irish dude from Chicago. We vibed well, and we had a great rapport. We worked well together. But he hadn't been around urban audiences enough to know what I knew about this particular joke and why I felt like this joke was the right joke for the BET audience. And we went back and forth for about a day and a half. And on the day, I decided to make the change to my set and put back in the joke that we had been debating about. And the joke killed. And when, he came off, when I came off stage, he said, you were right. And for me, that was me assessing the level of knowledge of the person giving me the advice. I appreciate the advice. You've seen my comedy, but you have not seen my comedy often enough in an urban audience to accurately assess what my closing joke should be. Manager or not, I don't, in this particular instance, I don't think you're qualified. So I'm going to bet on myself. That way, if I suck, because he could have been right, and I could have gone on TV and sucked. But if, I, if I'm going to suck, if I'm going to bomb, if I'm going to crash my career into a wall, it's going to be because I chose to do it. It's not going to be off of the decisions of someone else. And so for me, if it's small stakes, I tend to take the advice of other people. But if it is something that could cataclysmically redirect, like change the trajectory of my life, I might have to take the will from you on that one.